Hey, what's going on YouTube? And welcome to the eighth and final video in our legendary item segment for Borderlands 2. <clears throat> this time around we're going to be going over grenade mods. So the first up is the bonus package, which two times more awesome, bonus extreme. <clears throat> and if you haven't seen this before, this is a rather entertaining one. Basically it's a Merv grenade that spawns more Merv grenades. So we decided to move to uh, good old thousand needles here, or thousand cuts. My name's all mixed up. Let's see if we can get some more bandits than just this one. Oh hell, let's just throw it out. So you can see, bunch of grenades, bunch of grenades, bunch of grenades. <clears throat> In short, your first grenade is going to spawn a set, which is then going to spawn a another set. So great, great grenade mod for clearing out a room. And I mean, it obviously packs a huge punch as well. Moving on from that, we have the Nasty Surprise, which uh, is also going to spawn some grenades, only four this time now. And the interesting thing about the Surprise is, in a sense, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this one is a longbow. Let me see. Yes, it is. But when it lands, it's going to drop four grenades directly at the feet of your enemies. So, if uh, you know everything's right where you want it, and you don't want your your baby, your children grenades bouncing all over the place, this is a great one for you. So you can throw one, and then they're all going to spawn right on top of them. What's this bag? This armored maniac all on top of me. Jesus, bandits are so impatient. Coming up next, we have the Quasar. Which, uh, as you can see, has a very high amount of electrical damage. And not only that, but it's going to have a, excuse me, a singularity effect. And in addition, it's going to cause some periodic damage until we get one big massive explosion. So let's uh, back up a little bit here so these bandits don't take us down before we can throw it. Jesus, they are on top of me. Nope, that's a black hole going off. Well, as you can see sticks to him and it's going to shock 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 and then you see right there the quasar exploding let's find one more see if we can give you one more showcase of that one as you can see it sticks to him nice electrical damage and then a big ol shock and finish after that we are going to be moving on to the fire leech which the fire leech is going to be uh, another one that involves uh, spawn grenades. It has, as you can see, 10,000 damage per second while it's up. And not only that, but the leech is also going to get you back some health. So all kinds of good things off this one. Now if we can just find some friendly neighborhood bandits who want to come out and play. Oh, here we go, a little midget. Let's, let's play with our little midget. Bounce it on over to him. As you can see, all the little fire things home in on him do a lot of burn damage and as you can see I healed up very very fast from it. Next up we have the Rolling Thunder which is another one that's going to spawn multiple grenades and the Thunder is a uh, it's a relatively low basis grenade weapon you're going to throw it, it's going to stay low to the ground and similar to the way the name sounds it's basically going to roll through your enemies. Where is our little bandit? There he is. Hello Mr. Marauder. As you can see, it's going to bounce all the way in and keep on rolling. And next up, we have the Pandemic. And then only two more? Is that it? Just two more? Jeez, we're going through these grenades so fast. But moving on to the Pandemic. The Pandemic is going to be a... Uh, <clears throat> it's a corrosive grenade, and... As you can guess from the title, Spread the Sickness, basically the corrosion on the pandemic will spread to other nearby enemies as well. So it's an excellent grenade for, uh, you know, going through those hordes of robots that you'll have to fight. And as you can see, we got some other little baby ones that are going to pop up. They're looking for somebody to play with too, but there's no more bandits around for them, so they're going to be lonely. And after that, we have the Longbow Stormfront, which sometimes lightning does strike twice. And the, uh, the Lightning Bow Stormfront, basically, we're going to have an initial explosion. It's going to create a, a bit of an arc that's going to shoot forward more child grenades. 
and there's going to be a, it's a very large range, similar to like a Tesla explosion, and uh, any enemies that come, you know, within a specific range of it are also going to get electrocuted. So it's a really nice one for taking out groups of guys with. So you can see from this Goliath, you can see it's basically going to electrocute him, and then it's going to spawn a bunch of little ones that are going to electrocute him. Crazy Goliath still running at me. What's wrong with him? Let's see if we can't find a whole group of enemies to... Alright, the buzzards get annoying. Find a whole group of enemies to to show this one on. Should be a couple right up here. You know, these slabs, they always love attacking their own. Do, do, do. Here we go. So, as you can see, we got it on this guy. We basically have an electrical field, and that's going to create even more little electrical fields. So, it's a really nice one for clearing out a room. I mean, you have all these little electrical explosions it's going to create pretty fun. And then the last one of our series is the Homing Fire Bee. And as you can guess from the flavor text of Bees Are Coming, it's going to basically home in on our enemies and burn them with unrelenting force. So there we go. A marauder that wants to play with bees. As you can see our bees home in on him. Where did he go? He dipped behind the corner. Well, that's no fun. We can't see what it does if he goes behind the corner. Oh, 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 yeah, we are. Jeez, look at them go. Crazy bees. As you can see, they they go everywhere. So, just to give you another idea of this one, since the guy was behind it. We're going to create a bunch of little bees. And um, this is similar to the Bouncing Betty grenades. Basically, the initial grenade, as you can see right there, is going to create a flamethrower type effect. But... In addition to that, the smaller ones that it's going to spawn are going to go around and burn anything else that's left in the radius. So it's another really entertaining one. But that concludes it, guys. So hopefully you have an idea of all the uh, fun-filled legendaries in the game. If you have any questions about any of them, please don't hesitate to ask. You can always reach me on Xbox Live or leave a message on my channel. And hopefully you guys enjoyed watching, so we'll see you the next time I get some videos going.